Peace and greetings everyone, Divine Zo here. So we are back with a follow-up video for the 5 gigahertz D author for 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So uh, probably for the past few years, the most popular um, D author has been Space Hoon's um, D author, but that is for 2.4 gigahertz. And he said um, on his site, very outright, um, he wasn't going to really do anything about that because um, these ESP8266s and the ESP32, um, like this one, um, they both only do 2.4 uh, gigahertz. So... <clears throat> I'll put the links down below, but you need to get um, these new guys. So I was working on a version with um, a color screen and some buttons, um, but I'll go into it more. Um, the libraries are not the same uh, for the ESP family and this one. So as you can see here, this is a... Um, <clears throat> BW16 and it has the RTL8720DN chip and that's from uh, real that's from Realtek and it has the same uh, form factor as the ESP32 has a uh, NeoPixel um, it has quite a bit of pins you can see on the back, um, it has uh, quite a bit. And this one has the uh, USB-C. And um, it has a uh, five volt uh, voltage converter, I think the CP2102. And um, this one's really cool because you can see here it has 2.4 gigahertz, 5.8 gigahertz, and Bluetooth. And it has a PCB antenna, but also here um, you can add a UFL connector and um, add your own antenna if you want to as well. Um, because they don't have a version, uh, at least right now, for, for sale on AliExpress that has this. And you want to make sure to get um, the BW16 because there are versions that have the BW16E and um, it doesn't do the Wi-Fi scanning properly and um, <clears throat> it won't work for this project. So if it, it has to have the black board. So don't get any of the purple boards and um, all that other stuff. Um, so yeah, you're going to uh, purchase uh, one of these or maybe a few. I think they're about four American dollars. Um, but I'd recommend you get these uh, now than later because um, I think these are rel relatively new uh, to the market. So um, once you get this, you gotta do some stuff to set it up. All right, so here we are at um We're at this uh, site that gives you some information. I'll put the links down below of anything relevant you should need. Um, but basically, if you just Google um, Arduino IDE setup for BW16, you should find something similar. Um, but the main thing is you're going to need to add to your board manager's URL. Um, so this area right here. And um, you'll select that. And then when you're in Arduino, you can go to settings and um, you just add in uh, this link right here and this uh, downloads um, <clears throat> the files you'll need for this microcontroller. So as you can see this guide then shows you um, you need to uh, go to boards manager and download the uh, 
amoeba boards. So you could even just type in uh, B16. And then uh, as you can see right here, you can just download uh, what you need. And then you'll select your board. <clears throat> So you'll find it in the Amoeba boards, and then you'll just click on the AI Thinker BW16. <clears throat> so make sure you click uh, the BW16, and it's the one that ends in DN. So RTL8720DN is our board. So after that, you'll go to um, the GitHub I suggested earlier, um, this D author for the BW16. And then you'll uh, simply download this and um, install it. All right, so now we have the firmware uploaded. Let's uh, turn this on. So you'll plug this in. Okay, so now we will connect to uh, this network that the microcontroller creates. It's just zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll connect to that. <clears throat> then we'll, <clears throat> and then we'll go to the uh, web UI. All right, perfect. All right, so we're on the deauthor. So this is the web UI. And here you can see all the networks and it shows you um, which is five gigahertz and which is 2.4 gigahertz. And you can see um, which devices you want to disconnect. Um, so for this one, we're going to select this 5 gigahertz uh, network, um, Trump sucks 5 gigahertz. And we will go here and we will connect to Trump sucks 5 gigahertz. So as you can see, I'm connected to the 5 gigahertz uh, network right now. All right, and we have the deauthor right here. So now what you do is you scroll down to the bottom of the list. I got a lot of uh, networks. So here you have a uh, launch attack and then they have some reason codes uh, down here. So I'm just gonna put in uh, reason code two. And if you want, you can also rescan networks. So we'll put it over here. All right, so we're about to launch. We have connection to um, Trump sucks 5G. Uh, let's test it out. So you're gonna launch and instantly it kicks on and then it kicks you off the five gigahertz network just like normal deauthing. There you go.
So I'm going to try and reconnect. <clears throat> so right now it will not let you connect to that five gigahertz uh, network and it just pushes me off to um, the most recent network and <clears throat> you should be kicked off the um, uh, page it just goes to the deauth page um, but yeah, as you can see I can't connect uh, to that at all so now we're going to uh, turn off the the author okay so this is turned off and let's see if we can reconnect to the network now Alright, so just like that, now we can connect to Trump Sucks 5G now that um, turned off the, the author. Alright, so that's a quick run through on how to get set up with um, the BW16. Just make sure you download the um, board package files and you add the link. <clears throat> to your package URLs. And one other thing I noticed, um, this did not work um, straight off of GitHub. So I wanted to show you just um, just some code edits that I did. Um, because when I first started this, it did deauthorize the um, 2.4 gigahertz networks, but five gigahertz networks was not working. All right, so you'll uh, see the code here. And um, the only sections you want to edit for your own purposes is um, the SSID. You can change um, to something a little bit more discreet. And then of course your password. And um, here for the deauth reason, I made this too. And I did play around with this too. I don't know if this really makes a difference, but um, I did find a few, you know, errors and it wasn't really working that right until I used uh, Reason 2. And then next, um, this stuff right here is uh, just uh, the data that prints. Um, Oh yeah, and right here, this was a really important one, um, if you can see. Uh, this is uh, frames per deauth. Um, originally, this was five. And I messed around with this quite a bit, um, because it seems like for five gigahertz networks, um, the amount of frames that's necessary to kick off is a little different. And I tried at first like 30 and then higher numbers, um, but I found that 10 works uh, best. Um, it seemed like doing too much really doesn't do anything and then too little doesn't do anything. Um, so if you wanna mess around um, on your own terms, um, that's what you also wanna change. Um, but rather than that, the only other things that you could change um, is the HTML and CSS uh, for the web UI if you want to just customize it uh, to your own liking. And then you can change um, you could change how it scans too as well. And then um, <clears throat> if you want to... Um, disable the LEDs. Um, if you want to be a little bit more uh, covert, go for it. 
And um, what I'm working on is just making, a, like I said, a display um, for all the code that's already there. Um, so you could just use it with buttons and not have to use uh, the web UI. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, please leave some comments down in the uh, video and we'll make sure to get back to you.